because you couldn't keep your stuff in your pants. Drowning in famine, natural disasters. My baby has been around for me. Hello, goddesses and queens. It is your girl, Ye. Welcome back. Can y'all see me? I'm finna be over here talking to y'all because I'm cooking. Welcome back to another day of the vlog. It is Tuesday, March. March the 21st. Um, it is late. It's like 10 o'clock. No, it's 9.30. It's about 9.30. Um, I'm actually cooking dinner for tomorrow. Um, yesterday I did the wings with rice, corn, salad, felt like potatoes. It was, it was a whole full course meal. So they had that for leftovers. They still had some rice. Well, they didn't have any more rice because it was um, leftover rice. So I made new rice today. Yesterday rice was white rice. So I made yellow rice today. They still had some chicken wings and stuff for today. So right now I'm cooking. I'm going to throw some chicken thigh. Not chicken thigh. I'm kind of tired, y'all chicken legs in a slow cooker i'm boiling some potato because it's gonna be um mashed potato give me a second hubby calling hello but yeah so um so tonight i'm cooking some i'm gonna put some um chicken in a slow cooker mashed potato is boiling potato is boiling and then tomorrow I'll roast some broccoli so they can eat with their stuff before I head to the gym. And that's that. I haven't ate dinner. I was hungry earlier. I'm not hungry right now, but I know eventually once I calm down, I'm gonna be hungry. So I'm gonna make me some veggie tacos anyways. But I wanted to talk to y'all, child. So y'all heard about, um. Tasha K, well, first of all, Tasha K lost her admitment lawsuit um, against Cardi B, which I ain't gonna lie, I'm happy about it because, first of all, why you kept bothering Cardi B? It's like, I feel like once you say whatever you gotta say about somebody, you leave it alone. You leave it alone. Like if you a gossiper or you a celebrity gossip person, you you do the celebrity gossip and then you leave it alone because it could become harassment after a while. So I hope Tasha K um learned her lesson. I hope Tasha K learned her lesson about, you know, her appeal. She lost her appeal for four million dollars against Cardi B. She lost it, and I hope she learned her lessons and know how to just do her report and keep it moving. Don't continue talking about a person over and over again because that could cost you. So that's first the first thing I want to tell you, um, talk about. But baby, did y'all hear about this story? I'm gonna tell y'all. So. Tasha K, she interviewed these people, right? Where, where? Uh, this served twenty years in prison for throwing the acid mix in her face, unintentional. Well, intentionally, but unintentionally. But you gotta watch so, the interview to get the gist. This of girl it. named Savannah served twenty years in prison for throwing Clorox and red line in her then boyfriend side girl face right so this is my question so let me tell y'all what happened okay so um savannah was the main girl she was 23 years old or something like that she was the main girl to her damn boyfriend um the side girl kept calling the house i guess they had a house together i don't i'm not really sure um but she kept calling the house 
and I guess they had some type of words or whatever the case may be but the gag is that when Savannah and her dude was at the house the side chick came knocking on the door and Savannah opened the door and threw the Clorox now everybody is like well that not it's not that serious or whatever the case may be but i want to ask y'all who's wrong because to me it's like okay if you've been calling all night my house on all day all night and i'm telling you to stop calling and you spoke to my cousin because i guess there was some interaction between the side chick and the cousin so she obviously knew about her or whatever the case may be and savannah said she didn't know about the side chick until everything happened in court or whatever that they did was having a relationship so that being said the side chick kept doing the most she came to her house and she got what she got like am i wrong for thinking that because i understand savannah like i get savannah part now savannah says that the side chick was like a stripper or something like that. But the side chick, I feel bad for the side chick at the same time because she ended up blind by two of her eyes and stuff like that. But I feel as if that's why you're supposed to leave people man alone. Like, like I was, I was, um, I was reading some of my old posts from Facebook like years ago and one was like one of my posts said something about oh I'll fight a girl about my man because he makes sure. I was young and dumb but he makes sure I pay my bills and that goes back to what Cardi B was saying like Cardi B was saying like y'all not gonna fight for y'all nigga because that's like fighting for your money especially if he making sure you good so I don't know what Savannah's situation was, but if she was 23 and a guy was taking care of her and you up in their business, my opinion, you got what you deserve. Because you decided, especially if she knew about her, you decided to still entertain that. And if my dude decided to entertain you and everybody getting it, in my, in my point of view, everybody going to get it. Dog, cat, nigga, female, mama, daddy, uncle, cousin, everybody getting it. And whoever, they getting what they get. I don't know. I don't condone violence. But in my opinion, it was justified. Okay? It was justified. Ladies, leave these men that got somebody alone. Because first of all, that was 20 years ago. But today, things are definitely hard. People ain't playing those games with nobody, okay? Leave these men that belong to people alone. Leave it alone. So y'all tell me what y'all think. Was Savannah wrong? Is it not that serious? Was the other lady wrong? Was the hubby wrong? I seen with well, the guy wrong. I seen where people were saying, we need to start making men more accountable for their actions. And I believe it. He kind of spoke. I kind of heard a little thing of him speaking. And he victimized himself. He's like, well, I was scared of you. Or da, 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 da. First of all, you shouldn't be doing that in the first place, sir. Because now you don't destroy two women life. One went to prison for 20 years. And the other one is blind by, two, by both of her eyes. You destroyed two women life. And it sounded like there was kids involved. So you destroyed kids life. Because you couldn't keep... Your stuff in your pants. Sir. Because you, you the one that needed to be blind in two eyes. Not those women. But y'all tell me what y'all think. Talk to you guys in a minute. I'll talk to you guys in the morning, honestly, because uh, I'm tired. Mama tired, and I still gotta figure out get some energy in me to make these damn veggie tacos. So don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. It is your girl, yeah.
Hello, goddesses and queens. It is your girl, Yee. Welcome back to another day of the vlog, child. I was getting ready for the gym, and I was like, I don't remember. Oh. Hello. It is. I don't like this light. Hold on, y'all. Hey y'all, so I'm back. I ended up um using my ring light. Y'all know that little ring that I bought the other day with the clip or whatever. I think I might have to buy um and I got y'all super high as hell because I had to move y'all. I think I might have to buy two or three, maybe two, three probably is too excessive to have one in the car and one in the house because I don't find it and I'm pretty sure it's probably in the car. Oh, um, but yeah, I was getting ready. It's March the 23rd, Thursday, March the 23rd, getting ready for the, go to the gym. And I was like, I don't know if I spoke to y'all. I know I spoke to y'all this week, period. I know that for a fact. But I don't know if I spoke to y'all yesterday. I don't know. I know I had a conversation to have, which I feel like I had that conversation, which to be honest, I don't even know what the conversation was about. I know I wanted to, oh, it was about the hope and faith stuff. And I wanted to come on here and say something else to y'all. But I don't remember if I said it. And I don't remember what it was about. So I just want to check in with you guys, y'all, because I don't remember if I talked to y'all yesterday. I feel like I spoke to y'all like once or twice this week, but it haven't been consistent. I'm caught up with my vlogs, so which means that I have to start recording more because all that backed up vlogs that I had, and I don't got that much backed up vlogs now. Um, I'm actually thinking about doing a Target office office outfit haul probably this weekend i got one dress and this outfit that i'm thinking about putting together and i might go over the weekend and grab a couple of more things to see what i like or whatever honestly i don't really like shopping at target like that for clothes and particularly only because i feel like target is too expensive like i could buy clothes and she in for cheaper and that target is just a little bit too expensive but what i'm gonna do i'm gonna challenge myself to find outfits that's in cl clearance or lower prices put them together and see what i come up with so that's gonna be the challenge because to me i just feel like um target clothes be sometime overpriced when you could get those same outfits you know or something similar on sheet in or even fashion over sometime when you got to buy one get one free or buy one 50 percent off or whatever but cheaper so i don't know that's i've never been a big fan of shopping at fashion over but yeah just want to check in with you guys i could not remember if i came on here or not i could not i know i did a um uh open up opening box on this y'all if you're a content creator or you if you're a content creator but most mostly on TikTok and you do it off your phone, get you one of these. You could put this on almost anything that isn't like wooden. Like and it makes making videos, especially real reels, reels and um TikTok videos, it makes it a lot more easier. I just bought one for my baby, for my daughter. I'm gonna buy one for the hubby because he want one as well. And I'm about to do a TikTok on um on TikTok pretty much doing like a um box opening and review type stuff. 
So if you want one of these and you don't know what exactly it is, let me know so I can put the link below. Any information that you guys want, if nobody say anything, I'm not going to put it in a link because it's just more work for me. But if you guys watch my videos, make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and check out all the videos. And if you see something that you like, please comment down below because not only will you be doing me a favor, but... You will also be letting me know that you're interested in the item and I'll put it in the link for sure. Okay? For sure. But if you don't ask, you don't get it. Closed mouth don't get fed. Okay? Period. What else I was going to say? Oh, I wanted to say something else. Hold on, y'all. Hey, y'all. I'm back. Oh, this is what I wanted to tell y'all. Child, so, is these older Mom, ladies Mom, being petty Mom, at the gym, right? Mom, where is it And... I guess these ladies, they go to the cycling band, cycling class on a regular basis. I just started like a month ago. So they already got these, these assigned seats for them or whatever. So when I started, one of the girls that go on a regular basis, she was in the hospital or something. So, which I didn't know nothing about the assigned seats because of course I just started. So, the last couple of weeks when I've been there, I normally go to this one spot that I just like. It's in the back or whatever in the cut. And um, the lady's been like, oh, where's such and such? She's normally sit right here, whatever the case may be. Henson, Henson. Or whatever. But I ain't, I'm paying attention, but I'm really not. Because it, to me, it's like, bitch, this is a gym. Ain't no assigned seats. Like, if I get here before she get here, it is what it is. If she get here before I get here, it is what it is. I don't care. So it's not that big of a deal. I like it back here. If she's not here, I'm gonna come back here. If she is back here, I'll find somewhere else to go. But I'm not gonna move from where I'm at when she get here because it's not even that serious to me. And it's not gonna be that serious to you. What's here? Let me see. Okay, I see it. So yesterday I get there before those three ladies or whatever because normally this I I literally say. A minute away. So when I get there yesterday, there's a towel, there's some napkins and stuff like that in they little areas or whatever. So I didn't sit there because I'm like, I really didn't know she was there or not. I didn't sit there. I respect you. So now today, my petty boots is on, and I'm like, it's six twelve. Well, it was like six. It was like five fifty-five, six o'clock when I first thought about. It. I'm like, I should go over there right now and put my stuff there so I could have my and then get there after six thirty, so they won't touch it, so they can know it's me, and I get on there. And what they gonna say or do? Nothing. <laughs> Nothing. So, but I tell myself, girl, that's just too much energy. Don't even bother, cause I actually want a smoothie, so I want to go there. I was tired. But not only that, I was like, girl, don't even bother. That's so petty. Or whatever. But I do want to be petty. And all and these women are they older. Like, come on, like. I that's what I don't like. I don't like a older petty female. And you know what? I have learned that older women, I think because people see them as older women and People, because people see them as older women, they don't want people to think they soft or something like that. They go uh, above and beyond to show how petty they can really be. And it's like it's the respect thing. Like you going I'm gonna show you to respect me because I've been around the moon a couple of times. That, 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 that. And half of the time, like the younger crowd ain't even worried about them like that. Like, ugh. anyways, y'all. So y'all tell me. Do y'all think I should do that, be petty, or should I leave it alone? Or have you guys experienced older women just being extremely petty for no reason? Is that a thing? My mom, or... mom and my mom. You want to call grandma? Yeah, mama. I mama. He know an older petty lady. <laughs> you want mama? Say bye-bye. Eli, say bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye. Hello goddesses and queens, it is your girl Yi. So we are back from the gym. Today was a chilled gym night, but I can actually feel like my body is um 
the resistance of doing certain workouts is increasing is increasing so i can do certain things a little bit longer which i was very happy to see that about myself i still get tired but i certain things i i can do that i wasn't able to do a couple of weeks ago um so i was definitely happy about that i definitely you know did my thing and i really enjoyed myself so right now i'm about to do some work i'm working on um updating my um website 625 website um gotta do that gotta do website stuff what else do i have to do um it's something else i know i gotta do the website stuff i already put up i had a tiktok video that i was gonna put i already put it up and um something else child but that's the plan for tonight it is chill we still have leftover food from the week so i'm gonna actually lay down relax elijah already got on his pjs for the night so i'm going to pretty much work um because i have to just work on my website and start working on my spring um items for now um and thank you guys so much for everyone that's on youtube even though i don't get a lot of views but you guys are definitely looking and buying on the on the website y'all like a lot of i got a lot of stuff still up because a lot of my customers lately has mm, thank you a lot of my customers lately are coming from new york coming from like buffalo new york i don't know how to say it but like uptown areas that are buying out like the um like the sweatsuits and the sweat outfits and stuff like that even though it has been off and on cold and hot here but it's not so cold that we need well sometimes i don't know what's going on here child but a lot of my items are coming from up there ohio new york buffalo and stuff like that a lot of my purchases are coming and i appreciate that if you and, and it's saying that it's coming from youtube so if you guys see my channel and have purchased thank you so much thank you so much i hope you guys have enjoyed the items that you guys have received and i will definitely keep that in mind that i am getting customers from all over you know and I, I really appreciate that like i really do i really do um and thank you for your patience because my items are now pre-sold pre-sale aka drop shipping so which happened is that you purchase i get the item from my vendor and then i i check it out make sure it's all good and then i send it to you um so that's how that pretty much is growing going but i appreciate you guys so much we're about to come out with the spring items there's some items that i am going to purchase myself model it you guys are going to be able to see it on tiktok and on instagram and stuff like that and some items might not be modeled but they will be sampled so and i appreciate that and i hope you guys enjoy everything else that's coming up on the website okay so that's pretty much it y'all i just want to check up check in with you guys tomorrow is friday i'm just running um i'm just running the videos lately i'm not dividing them into week vlogs or weekend vlogs because i had so much vlogs and it's just all over i was just dropping them so i just been calling them a week in my life vlog so welcome to another week of my life vlog if this is a new one or we just gonna continue tomorrow so talk to you guys later have a great night <laughs> or morning or afternoon whenever you guys see it adios <laughs> All right, y'all. So we in the back. Um, you guys can't really see much, but it's a mess back here. So you, there's nothing to see. Okay. So you guys see this? I'm gonna actually move this over there, and I'm gonna. I'm thinking about putting those bookshelf stuff on this wall, and then um, I'm also thinking about bringing my shoes back here. So I think that's why we have the extra tall bookshelf because i'm thinking about bringing all my shoes back here because i have a lot of shoes and i honestly wish i had like a separate closet just for my shoes like real that's legit okay because i never have shoes but i have a lot of it i don't understand that part yes so, okay i'll be right back y'all 
Hello goddesses and queens, it is your girl Ye. Welcome back to another day of the vlog. It is March the 24th, it's Friday. Woo! Woo! I typically would call this a weekend vlog, but because the way my weeks has been running when I'm vlogging, we're just keeping it at welcome to a life of week with Ye. Or something like that. I don't know. But anyways y'all, so... I am actually starting the week right, the weekend right. I went to Walmart and I bought four five shelf bookshelf. And then I bought two, I already had three, I already had one here. I bought two more, three shelf bookshelf. So I don't know if you guys have been seeing the storage trending TikTok thing that's been going around. Um, you guys know I'm remodeling. I'm remodeling the back. I don't showed you guys that. I remodeled in my room. Even your size room. I have to update his stuff. So I'm pretty much trying to not only remodel but build more storage area for um, our clothes and stuff. You know. My bad, it was a weird person walking in front of the house, like in the sidewalk. I never seen them in the neighborhood. So anyway, so yeah. So I'm trying to figure out more storage ideas um, and ways to give us more storage room, especially for me and the hubby clothes. Like, y'all seen what I bought off Amazon? That's pretty much full. I'm gonna have to redo it. Not redo it, but like, reorganize everything i'm trying to give us more room so this is why i bought these two uh, this more this extra stuff because i'm gonna put more room in my back room build them up and put more you know places where we could put more clothes at in the back room because i still have um clothes to wash and the new storage area that i did build in our room is already full so we're going to need more space, pretty much, to sum it all up. So, pretty much what I'm thinking about doing, I'm thinking about using two of the big ones and two of the small ones for our back area and then one of the big ones and one of the small ones for your science room. Then I have an extra one. I'm pretty sure I bought that for a reason but I can't remember. So, I'm starting off the weekend, right, because the weekend is the time that I really have to do this organization stuff. I don't know if I'm going to end it right because Mariah is also in town. So I, we should be we going out tonight already. She might be linking up with us. And I'm pretty sure if she doesn't link up with us tonight, eventually we will be linking up sometime this weekend. Um, and then, um, but the good thing that I don't have a very crazy schedule. Tomorrow I'm just going to go to the gym, work out come home and we're working on the house and then sunday pretty much the same thing so it's a chilled weekend overall and because it's a chill weekend i'm gonna take advantage of straightening up so let's go see this mess in the back y'all i'm ashamed so please don't judge me okay let's go y'all i don't sit down and fix me a drink Cause um yeah, it's a lot. It's a lot of work. Like y'all want to see my view? Y'all want to see my view? Y'all want to see my view? I'm just gonna tell y'all. So y'all see y'all don't move the comforters over here. I got this printer over here that I use for my notary stuff, so I can't throw that away. Keep in mind, I have a computer desk over here. I can legit put my computer desk over, my printer over there. My computer desk is a mess. It's a mess, okay? But it's not nothing that can't be fixed. It's really just like copy paper and stuff. Then I have some shoes over here and I have some shoes over there. But you guys know, I just told y'all, I'm going to move my shoes back here. I just don't know how and when. I have a luggage in front of me. Child, let me just show y'all. 
that. Don't judge me, judge your mama, okay? Let me see how I'm gonna show y'all. Okay, hold on, like this. I'm gonna show y'all like this. So this is my mess, y'all. Yeah, got tissue paper, my luggage, another printer that's gonna get thrown away, Elijah toys, school supplies, dirty clothes, and my desk I keep talking about. It don't seem like a lot, but it feels like a lot. And my thing is, I'm still trying to create. Oh, and then I have clean clothes on this table. Can I show y'all that? Fold clean clothes over here. Okay, so that's why I decided to buy more storage area because these are well, clothes I was washing already and then I have more clothes over there to wash and that's just me and the hubby clothes the kids clothes are good um your size just need new cabinets so that's why I bought him what I bought him but yeah y'all it's like dang like I'm trying to be productive but I don't even know what to do like I think what I'm gonna do I'm gonna do this table I'm going to do this computer table, fix it up, put my printer over here and stuff like that, make it more neater. And then I'm going to do the school supplies because I'm not buying anything for the school supplies. Um, and Elijah clothes, Elijah shoot, toys is straight. It's going to stay in this big hamp. I just bought that a couple of weeks ago. I don't know if that vlog is up, but I, I think I put it in the vlog. Um, so the desk school supplies and Elijah toys and I'm gonna sweep and then that's gonna probably make me feel like I did something these poles right here for like clothing rack for six to five I don't know what to do with them I don't want to throw it away because just in case I need them but at the same time I'm not doing yeah and that's another thing so I have so much clothes in general like just old clothes Oh, six to five um, inventory. So I'm actually thinking about throwing a yard sale or a closet sale or something like that um, in those effects so I can get rid of a lot of storage, a lot of old inventories and clothes and stuff like that. I'm even thinking about going to the flea market. Because your size disposed of a lot of good shoes that he probably only wore once or twice. Clothes that he probably only wore once or twice. The same for Shahira. And those clothes, I could go to the store, to, to the flea market, sell it for a dollar, five dollars a piece, and make some money out of it. So I'm thinking about doing that or running a, a yard sale or whatever. But I live at a, in a busy road. Okay, I'm just renting y'all. But anyways, yeah, that's where we at. We're sitting now trying to figure out what we're finna do. Which I think I already know what I'm gonna do, but now I'm feeling kinda tipsy. So let me put some music on and get this thing together. Talk to you guys in a minute. Uh, so this is where we at. I'm gonna continue tomorrow. Shoes, clothes, folded sheets, folded clean clothes. And I did not even touch my computer desk y'all my computer desk got too much going on hey whoa i don't want to show all that as well.